Hello, everyone. My name is Eterla. I will be your guide to the Infinity Creatures realm. Let us begin. Question number one. What is an Infinity Creature? Well, a Infinity Creature, in short, is a human-shaped, elemented blend of a creature. But I am here to further explain this to you. An infinity creature is a human bodied, to an extent of course, with horns made up from the element they wield, along with distinct and noticeable animal features. This is a quick run through, now let's get ready into details of the creatures. Question number two. They come from an egg? Yes, infinity creatures are all born from an egg. Depending the egg they would come out from determines different visual traits. There are tons of different varieties of eggs out there. We will discuss and talk about each of those in another video. For now, let's focus on the main points. You see, every infinity creature has to have the following three things implemented into them. An animal, an element, and a theme. Let us begin with the first one. Animal. Each infinity that is hatched must contain an animal feature, whether it is ears or simple things such as fangs or wings. The animals you're capable of choosing range from real living animals to non-existing mythical creatures. Let's make a chart of what's real and what's considered mythical. Cats, bats, bunnies, wolves, and so forth are under the section of real life creatures. What falls under the mythical aspect of things is creatures such as centaurs, dragons, and the special events of fandom-based creatures. If you're unsure where an animal falls under, comment down below or join our Discord server. The link is down below in your description if you need any help. Element As of this day, the infinity creatures can have their horns made from the following elements. Water Fire, air, earth, light, and dark. Each element has specific qualifications in order to fall under. Water. Anything that's liquid based fall under the water category, whether it is a body of water such as the ocean, pond, swamp, or even drinks such as sodas, cocktails, and even soups would fall under the water element. Fire. Fire is self-explanatory. Anything that is on fire or made of fire, such as candle flames, torches, blue flames, and even lava. Air. Air is the tricky one to determine, as it is something we can't see. For example, tornadoes, perfumes, or even toxic gas. Earth. Earth is the most used and known element. It falls under the aspect of flowers, gemstones, and even man-made things such as pizza. Light Light is simple, and anything that emits light, such as lightning, light bulbs, or even holy magic works under this category. Dark Dark is the most used among the creatures, as it is used mainly for shadows, ghosts, and even dark magic. There's many things you can choose to use as your element, you just have to know under which category it falls under. Don't be scared to think of a unique element, anything can be possible. Theme Each infinity has to have their own form of theme. Just as the elements, a theme has endless possibilities and outcomes. What falls under a theme would be an overall view of infinity's appearance. Here are some examples. A haunted doll, cookies, and many more. It is up to you what the overall theme of your infinity consists of. Needed traits, horns, or horn. Every infinity needs to have a form of horn upon their head. This horn needs to be made up or shaped as the element they are capable of controlling. They can even have more than one horn or the horn can even be shaped any way they would like, so long as you define it under as a horn. Animal Traits 
At least one animal trait must be placed upon the creature. It can be anything, from animal ears, paws, and tail, to simple things such as whiskers, fangs, and so forth. Keep in mind, you may add as many animal traits as you wish. However, the human body must still be visible as a human body. Elemental fusions. Depending the element that the creature's horn is made up of, they will need a way to blend it to their body, whether their hair is made up from the same element or they have the entire leg made out of it. So long as we can see that there is a part of their body somewhere, they have the same element blended into it, it will work. Thank you so much for watching. I will be waiting for you guys on the next episode of Infinity Creatures School. This is Aterla, and I wish you all a nice day. Goodbye.